should we stick to a one mazhab assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has never told us that the madhab is going to be created after me and everybody is going to be stick with that madhab but the rather that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to stick with the quran and uh, stick with the pure sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam now the question comes up because there are several ahadith and the thousands of ahadith and we have to uh, uh, find a, we have to know the classification and the science of ahadith and how to differentiate between the uh, ahadis from starting all the way from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam line uh, coming up to all the way up to the um, Imam Bukhari Rahmatullahi and the other scholars so uh, we some uh, the Mahathis has to know the chain of narrations and he had to have a knowledge enough uh, that which Sahaba was authentic, which Sahaba was a false, which Sahaba could lie, or some has some uh, lying habit, or some Sahaba has any problem. So the Mahadis has to go through all the chain of narrations, and then based on that, he has to, to verify which Hadith is Sahih and which uh, Hadith is Zai for the fabricating. So the Prophet said, uh, to stick with the Quran and stick with the Sunnah of the Prophet but, but the time that we are living in when we say the Sunnah of the Prophet it is not enough actually because what happens like we have to in order to to stick with the Sunnah we have to know all the Hadith and from the Hadith we have to filter all the Hadith and we have to filter what is Zaif and what is uh, fabricated and Maldu and th there's uh, so many Zaif and uh, um, fabricated Hadith that the people are following so we cannot say this is the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, but rather to filter those Hadith and filter out the Sahih ones and follow the Sahih Hadith so then you can stick to the Quran and the Sahih Hadith and the Prophet ﷺ did not told us to stick uh, to following mother or anything because um, first of all the mother this does not exist at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. The mother was came out because after the Prophet ﷺ, there was so many matters which the the public was un, uh, unable to find the answer. So there was a black four scholars that was came. It was not the only four black scholars, but there was a more a scholar. But but these was these four were the most uh, popular ones. And uh, they just give their opinion, which is not contradicting Quran, which is not contradicting the Dasan of the Prophet So everybody has the option uh, to to follow or not to follow. And based on all these four schools, uh, schools of thoughts, uh, the public has the option to which one to follow. But sticking to just one mother, this was not uh, told by the Prophet ﷺ. Like for example, if the four uh, Sunnah schools give some option, uh, opinion, and I give my opinion. So if somebody will say, okay, no, he was a great scholar. No, he, you are the great scholar. I'm going to follow you. I never said that. Nobody ever said that. Not Imam Abu, uh, Abu Hanifa or the Imam Shafi or Imam um, Nehamal or Imam Malik Rahmatullah may Allah bless them all uh, they never told us to follow my mother this is the later generation who restrict themselves to a particular mother and they, 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 they just do not want to leave it they want to stick whatever they, the Imam is doing so now the, uh, the second other problem is that that education has been arrived to today from that mother that books was not authentically was written by the by the same scholar like from uh, Imam Abu Hanifa the books that uh, all the, the people following the uh, Hanifi mother the books they are studying uh, till today this is not uh, authentically 100% uh, correct where the people are following the books today this is like uh, uh, too many times has been changed up till today and the people are thinking this was a uh, the saying of the uh, Imam Abu Hanifa so sticking to the mother maybe uh, people will get misguided and the generation just keep getting misguided because sticking to the one mother so the Prophet says stick to the Quran and stick to the Sahih Hadith so you're going to be staying on the Salat Mustaqim